I don't think this will ever get old. I don't care if he's like five and still wants to cuddle in bed with me in the morning. Even though he doesn't really cuddle, he just wants to sit in a rough house and all that kind of stuff. He loves watching like the nursery rhymes and stuff on here. Uh, yesterday he was listening to, what was it? Something about bringing home a baby bumblebee and then old McDonald and just like, just some of that kind of stuff. And he really enjoyed it. Do you want me to find it? We gotta let go to screen or else mama can't get it if you're touching the screen. Here, my mom will come find him. Wow, huh? 7.39, should we go get some breakfast? Do you want me to come turn Mickey on and I'll make breakfast? Would that be okay? We should show him your tooth. Should we show him your tooth? Show him how much it's grown in. You can put your truck. He loves this truck, don't you? Where's the little person? There's one of them. Here's one of them. And yeah, there's water bottles on the floor and stuff because he was playing with them last night. He thinks it's a really great toy, don't you? Ah, oh, do you guys see it? You got a tooth. What the heck? You can put him here. Look. There you go. Now we can drag it. Oh, oh. Can take him out. There. Now try. Good job. Mama's gonna go make us some breakfast, okay, Bugaboo? I do have an ice cream bowl left on the floor. I was just so tired last night, and so now because of that, I have a whole kitchen to clean. Really isn't that bad though. We've got breakfast made. Hendrix is having some eggs with some ham. I've got more eggs right there for him. That's why there's not a whole ton on there because I knew a lot of them would just probably fall to the floor. Um, he's just now getting the grasp of how to feed himself. Your piece of ham. See what I mean by more of it gets on the chair and the floor than he does eating it, but that's okay. I look really scary, I know. <laughs> um, I have like mascara going down my face. My hair needs washed, so I'm going to go take this time to go shower because Hendrix is down for a nap. Gus is home. He's been home for a little while. He's just in the shower while I made some lunch for us all. We're not doing anything too special. We're just having some hot dogs and salad. And Hendrix is over here munching on a cheese stick with, with a little piece of hot dog. He's not eating him that whole. I'm just cutting the inside of it out where I know he can chew it. See, I'll probably do like half of that. So don't freak out, guys, because I know there's going to be someone that's like, you're not supposed to feed him hot dog, but there's not the skin or anything on it. I didn't even, that was like terrible English. Is that that, Dad? You need some hot dog? But yeah, there's no skin on it, it's just the insides pretty much. What do you think of that? Mmm. Finish what's in your mouth. Good job. What are those? Keep the sun out of your eyes. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Ready to go run some errands. We have to do a target exchange and we gotta go to grandma so we can get the other white noise machine. We gonna play peekaboo? Where's Hendrix? <laughs> Where's Hendrix? Peekaboo!
Are you going to do it? Where's Hendrix? Peekaboo! Oh, oh, oh peekaboo! <laughs> <laughs> You're such a weirdo. We're in Target now, spending way too much money. I came here for an exchange, and here I am buying a new nursing bra, another shirt because they're five bucks, and Hendrix an outfit because it's on clearance, mm. and again, it's five bucks. Mm. Why does Target suck us in? Huh? Why do they suck us in? Maybe we'll go look on the other side, like the 12 month yeah. stuff. Because okay. remember those shirts that we wanted to get last time? They're like five bucks. Yep. They're on sale. Really? And I was going to get some, but I wanted to get your opinion first. Okay. I really want to get him this one. They don't have his size. But I guess I really like this one too. But I don't see his size either. They had it yesterday. I really like this one still too. The little tank top have fun all day. I feel like it almost looks too old for him though. Like I feel like it's more like toddler versus... Because he still looks kind of babyish in a way. I don't want him to grow up too quickly. I like that. This one? Yep. We have to get this one. I think we were going to get this one last time. Or like a t-shirt or something that was like it. And then I we did it for this. Yeah, but we'll get that one. Because it's on sale. Like, why not? He'll fit into it eventually. Our basketball. I wish they had a size in these. These are cute. Yeah, I guess if they even had 12 months, they'd still be too big. Oh, those are so cute. What size are those? Are they 12? Those are too big. Those would literally be like pants on him. Look, there's these ones too. Look at those. These are like the ones that I there's just bought. Three that look good. I really like those. And the ones that you showed me. <laughs> those are cute. Those I feel like I could see you wearing those. <laughs> if they were your size. <laughs> I think he looks pretty cute in hats. Thought he would never keep it on. <laughs> it's so cute. Hey there. Mr. Mr. Explorer. Oh, I can't even talk. That would be so cute for summer, but... You wouldn't keep it on. Dang it. Maybe when you're older. We're in the fitting room trying some clothes on him, and I hope we're not the only people that do this with their babies, but I always try his clothes on, like at Old Navy and stuff. I think these are really cute on him, though. So I think we're gonna get those, and I was telling Gus, I'm like, of course, they're the most expensive ones. That's why we like them. Oh, yeah. But they fit him, and I'm kind of bummed, because these fit him. They're a little bit bigger on the waist, but they're kind of too long for him, so I have to pass on those. So I'm gonna have to look at, like, Old Navy or something. So I'm at my mom's house and it feels so weird. I just came here to get my mail. I know my hair is like totally crazy. But I thought I'd show you guys my old room. This is what my old room looks like now. It's now the playroom for the grandkids. My mom got this for Hendrix uh, just a little while ago. He had a lot of fun with it, but um, I figured I'd leave it here. That way he has something to play with that's more his age. So it was really nice of her, but I'm here so that I can grab uh, some of our stuff like I want to get Hendrix's other sound machine that we uh, bought the first time But it's downstairs, so I need to go get that Where'd Hendrix go? Oh Hendrix Where's daddy? <laughs> oh, no. Where'd Hendrix go? Hendrix oh. What the? Yeah. Where's daddy? Hi there. <laughs> yeah. Oh no. Oh no. Huh. Where'd Hendrix go? Oh. Hey. We're back home now. I'm in my comfortable clothes, but we ended up spending like sixty dollars at Target. I went in there specifically to get one shirt that was five bucks and do an exchange, and I walked out spending. $60. But in the meantime, I'm going to work on cleaning up this room because it is a mess and it's mainly my fault. So I'm going to clean up my mess because it's a lot of my clothes and stuff. But as you guys saw, we went to my mom's. I just popped in so I could pick up my old sound machine, I guess if you want to call it. Um, because Hendrix has been napping in our room since his crib just... I mean, he sleeps well in his crib, but at the same time he doesn't. I'll show you guys why. So when Hendrix was a little bit smaller, he did um, sleep with me kind of quite a bit. So he got used to the foam pad that was on my bed. And once I transitioned him out of my bed into the pack and play, he couldn't sleep just laying flat down. And that also had to do with sleeping in the rock and play because it's obviously an incline. So the only way I could get him to sleep in his pack and play was if I put a pillow and then he slept with his head on the pillow. 
well, that works great. But then during the night, he will roll off of the pillow and then he's just laying flat down and he ends up waking up from that just because it's so uncomfortable. So I did order him a foam pad for his crib. It's specifically for his crib to see if that won't help him sleep better. Since taking naps in our room just because, like I said, he sleeps better in our bed, obviously. So I got sick of moving his owl back and forth, his little sound machine owl. I'm sick of moving it back and forth. So I was like, I'm just going to go get my old one from my mom's house. That way we have one in our room and one in Hendrix's room. It seems like a lot of explaining just for a sound machine, but I'm going to plug that in behind there so that it's in a decent spot. Yay! Which means this one can go back into his room. It's Hendrix's uh, favorite time of night where we get to eat dinner. Plus we get to eat a meal as a whole family. Uh, yay! Uh, Hendrix has tortellini noodles with some spinach and cheese in it, and then he has some, uh, oh shoot, I just forgot what this is called, pesto chicken pretty much. I'll probably feed him some like vegetables or something afterwards, that way he gets his veggies in today, huh? What do you think of that? Daddy find the little person? Say thank you, Daddy. Let me see. Hendrix. Hi. I'm using my phone because the camera decided to die on me, but Hendrix is in bed. I'm going to enjoy some ice cream and watch some Dexter with my man. Hoping that this ice cream helps my sore throat and I hope that I'm not getting sick because that's like the last thing that I want right now. So thank you guys for watching and I will see you very soon. Bye.